Welcome back everyone. I hope you're having a good day today. We're going to be in Life of Fred Dogs. If you have a dog's book, go ahead and get your book out now. Remember, you can press pause at any time during this video. Today, we're going to be on page 121, chapter 19, and the title is Dogs. What do you do with a dog other than walk them, feed them, walk them again, take them to the vet for shots, dust them for fleas, and listen to them bark? Fred wanted to look on the positive side. Why do some people have a dog to play with? Fred got a ball and put a leash on one of the dogs and walked him down the hallway. Four plus five equals nine. Down two flights of stairs and outside. He took the leash off, threw the ball and yelled, fetch. The dog looked at Fred. After about a half hour, Fred taught his dog the game of fetch. He would throw the ball and the dog would run and get it and bring it back to Fred. Fred realized that the only games you could play with a dog are dog games. Fred would throw the ball and the dog would bring it back to him. Fred got bored, but the dog would happily play fetch for hours. Was it for the exercise of throwing the ball? It would be a lot easier just to throw the ball up a hillside and have it roll back down to you. Fred took the dog back to the office. He threw the ball into the garbage can. It was wet with dog slobber. To be a lifelong companion, hardly. If a baby and a puppy are born in the same year, the dog will probably be dead when the kid is a teenager. Of course, if you are 85 years old when you buy a dog, it might not die before you do. To have someone to talk to? Yes, this does work. You can talk to a dog, of course. You can't talk with a dog. Fred had been talking to his dog, Kingy, for years. Kingy was a very good listener, and Kingy didn't shed. Back at his office, Fred rummaged through his desk drawers and found some half-eaten sandwiches that he had saved. They had been in his desk for weeks. He tossed them to the dogs, and they devoured them. He opened up one of his library books, Professor Eldwood's History of Dogs. He thought that might help him understand why some people have dogs. Eldwood wrote that dogs are very much like wolves. Wolves like to travel in packs and they like to follow the head wolf. One of the dogs came up and licked Fred's hand. In that instant, Fred realized one big advantage of owning a dog. You get to be the master. They look up to you and will follow you. Your boss makes you fetch his coffee. The policeman gives you a ticket. Your parents make you clean your room, the clouds rain on you, a cold puts you in bed, and your best friend won't talk to you anymore. But you have a dog, it will lick your hand, it will fetch the ball you throw, it looks up to you. You are the leader. You are the head wolf. No one has ever figured out how to be a leader for cats. If you can't be president or a policeman, or a cloud that rains on everybody, at least you can own a dog. The problem with Fred is that he didn't want to be president and rule over other people. He needed love, as everyone does, but he didn't need 30 dogs to give him dog love. He knew that God loved him and that he had friends who loved him, but he didn't have 10 hours each day to walk those dogs. He didn't have money to feed them or get dog licenses. He phoned everyone he knew and asked them if they would like a dog. No one did. He took Ralph and the other 29 dogs back to the animal shelter and he cried. The Kitten Caboodle, late breaking news, no doggies to die, Kansas. Mrs. Hund, head of the Kitten's Animal Shelter, announced minutes ago that the shelter has received a gift of $50,000 from a wealthy artist. The money will be used to expand the shelter and provide 10,000 new cages for the dogs and cats. No longer will we have crowding problems, Hund told the kitten caboodle. Every animal can stay here until it is adopted. No more euthanasia. The donor wished to remain anonymous. All that Hund could say was that the donor was six inches tall and wore a baseball cap with KFF on it. 
Now, are you ready for today's homeschooling meme? Here you go. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that one. Okay, that's the last chapter for dogs. Join me tomorrow for the next book in the series, Edgewood. Bye for now.